What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be playing Final Fantasy 7, actually Final Fantasy 16. So if you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get started. So the last video I made was three hours long, and I did I got some progress in it, and I'm almost done with the game. I'm 15 hours left until I finish the game. So and that's honestly a good thing. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. Look, we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friend's ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Um. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Cook and his men had their fun with more than a few. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Jill looked white as a sheet when he did. Clive. So, will it be? So I apparently got a new power. That's the power of the Titan. Let's see what we got. Okay. Otto, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Ah, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. 
You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right, you win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... What storeroom was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. He told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick to see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. I knew you'd say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. I was wondering where you got to. Oh. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. <coughs> She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid, hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. 
Thank you, Heron. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. stuff an airship yeah. I'll see what I can do till I'll bring them over when I'm done my thanks and mids no doubt that just leaves the carpenter let's see if Bardolph's available Master Sid? Bardolf. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. You know, sometimes you're forced to do these stuff. Choose three. Let's see what this does.
If it ain't the lad who saved my life, what brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. Oh! Uh... gone a while. Then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh... I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. <laughs> well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you, thank you. And take care. All right. This shouldn't take long. should do it. 
You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. <laughs> How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh. <sighs> well, it may as well have been a century. Looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice I am. <sighs> Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. The hand. All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. See how Jill it's faring. Alright, first let me just go to the blacksmith. For you. Is that all? What do you need? What do you want? <laughs> no scratches, all right? And I feel yeah. What do you want? Everyone was spread about. Haven't you heard? Mid's back. Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Carpocrates about Togo. He must have found something.
Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. What about? Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. Some time later, okay. <sighs> it is brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. I wish we could. I think I'll wait till Midsummer Way to take a tour of the dungeon. Goes the hunt for Kupka. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? 
word now. Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. No, oh, oh, shh. Oh, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? A guest? Trouble. It was a pleasure being hindsight. Ah, <laughs> Uncle Byron, Clive, my boy, tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. Meanwhile, twin side. Who the hell's living in here? The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, uh, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta go do something. Alright, I'm back. The blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Leon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. Now let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, Your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir.
prepare for battle. Sire. Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. I shall depart at once. MacGregor, forgive you. The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. My dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth the Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kopko withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think... With this news of the Dalmechian fleet, and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Mulud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalist did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, 
Whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang? A place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it. There was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanza and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. This is what Dubai used to look like. It was all desert. And we didn't have that. It was just desert. Everything. Uh, 
I was a young man when last I walked this path. And my dad was a young man when he was. My uncle was. My grandpa was a young man when he walked here. He didn't even go to college. The road to Drake's Fang leads to it. The trading post it is. But I'm going to college soon. Actually, university. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised oh, you don't remember. It was just... There is isn't much for. Okay, looks good. It's before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived, but you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Soldiers were in the end. So, you would cook as many as Ah, there she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Russian steeds, no doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Luda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Toggle. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Mm. Two bowls of that then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire?
Ah, oh, Joshua! Your grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Shh. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Bar fight. Bar fight. Uncle. Sorry. Bar fight. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. to lose Friend. <laughs> stay back uncle gladly Never mess with us. Yes, hi.
trouble. <sighs> Word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> <sighs> Now's our chance. Now, oh, come on. Your Grace? I'm fine. Ha <laughs> ha they could have stayed longer for a reunion. What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. Joshua is alive. I want to see a reunion. Well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The rulers said to themselves, their guest is in the fang. We should press on. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family anytime soon. Anything I can interest you in? Here you are. My thanks. Here you are. Thank you for your custom. Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer, aren't you? Anything I can help you with, travelers? 
Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience, believe you me. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Foda knows. Hanging lanterns, keep the darkness from your door. Silver platters, just... Excuse me, are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Just look! Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it.
Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. <sighs> to the lock of leisure. Weights and puts! Fresh bread, warm from the oven. The yes. most fragrant herbs and spices. My carpet! Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> <sighs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. 
What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them. Damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. All right. Good luck, Uncle. Okay. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Needed to a silken a softness, it while it's like eating a cloud. You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. What? what can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Do you think Fresh we'll bread, you? warm from the yes. oven. Yeah, have a taste. A deposit. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Why is the tavern shut? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Let me treat you. I'm a pretty fly. There he is. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle?
care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. What was all that crashing and banging about before? My carpet! Take a sniff, good sir. Do you think they'll be back soon? I need a new dress. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Won't you come and play, handsome? A thousand gil for a measly bunch of gazal greens. To a silken softness. Oh, yes, is that the classic. finest fabrics? Fresh from the I'll take it from here. <sighs> I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? 
All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And... Being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! It's not over yet, Uncle. Good! I'm just getting warmed up! What the? Now where did you come from? wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is.
Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. <laughs> Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, my lost land. To his Achilles. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> mm. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Quest complete. Oh, come on! Come on, make me level 29. Only one left. Are you kidding me? It would make us fresh bread, warm from the oven. Here, have a taste. from the stoutest stoneware. Sweet inside. Ha! They've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his word. We should get going soon. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubor? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walut are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. Sorry about that, I was texting my trainer. I've lost it was also my friend. If I lose another, 
people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? We're in the jaw, okay. There it is, Drake's Fang. Ah, I see why his fang is so big. He's probably going to use that to eat Kendrick. Along with goodness knows how many guards. I'm still on Kendrick's side between the beef. Wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. For what? After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however. No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Aww. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. 
Go safely, Uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me, let me check something. Okay, good news. I only have 14 hours left until I beat the game. So I guess now I'm just going to make each of my videos two hours and some of them three. You have non-working hands. Haha, <laughs> you have non-working What is this dirt? What is that castle rat done to me? Are you okay? Out of my sight, witch! Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! <laughs> you weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck. Okay, okay, that's enough F-words for today. But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. First of all, you can quit whining like a bee all day. And second, oh, you grow the f up. Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man. No, you're a monster. Others have suffered a similar fate and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. Uh, think about your ex. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She's a ho! I'll do it. My love. I'll avenge you. Or you could just die and be with her.
Thanos is here. Very well, it shall be so. You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Tricks Fang. Yep. He's gonna use that to eat Kendrick up. And he better not use that to eat my controller. I like it. It's my baby. This is my baby. And I know I'm gonna hurt. Uh, uh, who's blooded? Oh. Oh. Into the darkness. Are the beastmen part of the Waluda army now? How the hell did that happen? Yay! Now on level 19, 1974. <sighs>
Where do I go? Ah, I see. Yep. Oh, big guy. Okay. I won't be sneaking past this one. How did they get in here?
I could use that. things by halves as if taking the mother crystal for his own wasn't enough he had to build this castle in it Let the trial begin.
seems we're expected. So this is the power of Muthos. First orcs, now these the nightmares. Is this your doing, Ultima? Nope.
Mm-hmm. But where did you go? Uh -oh. mm -mm -mm. <laughs> look there, look there, look there, look there. My everything. I, I've missed you so much. Koka! Huh? I swear to you, my love. We will never be parted again. What's wrong with him? He's hallucinating. Oh shit. He's again. It's too late. Looks like you're going to go inside the void again. Uh, 
Wait, what? Time for an epic battle between Ifrit. Now, who's Ifrit fighting? Titan! This should be cool. Because the Titan is 10 times bigger than Ifrit. And a Titan with no hand? <laughs> oh. You got his hand back. Let's do this. Hold on, you guys, let me check something real quick. Okay, all good.
Oh, let's hit us. Oh. Stone. I think that I said, yeah, Brimestone. All right, let's see what's gonna happen now. Stone throw. Okay. S Stone throw, Steve Austin. R2 and square hold it and release and press one to cancel okay let's give this a try All right, let's see. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Oh! oh! A tiny... A tiny Ifrit lift a titan! <laughs>
Oh, we are screwed. He just grew like a hundred feet. Now I look like an actual Titan from Attack on Titan. Speaking of Attack on Titan, I kind of want to watch it right now. But you know what? For but no, 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 no. We have to focus. Okay. Okay, now this is very cool. Okay, now that's actually cool. Riding on the tail or tentacle, that's cool. Kind of reminded me. This kind of reminded me of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I remember that scene where Cloud tried to kill Earth, but they reviewed. They refused. Honestly, I like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It was a good game. My favorite game I played this year. Actually, that's a lie. Half-Life 2 is my favorite. Jump! Ugh. There. You gotta wait for the perfect time for more points.
He's good. How am I supposed to dodge that? Okay. 
Okay. Can there be a faster way for me to kill him? Got no arms. We still got tentacles. Oh my god, this game is so cool! This is a game I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. Yeah!
Okay, let's see what trick you're gonna pull up. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that's what I call boxing gloves. That was cool! Now we just came level 30 And our year is 2032 hmm. That should have been the year of, of Cyberpunk Destroyed, come on. Yeah. That looks beautiful. Bye. Get ready to join your hove of girlfriend. We see now 
Human will is so insubstantial it cannot exist in isolation. You mitigate its weakness by interweaving it with your consciousness. We believed we had merely to purge you of your will to claim our vessel. It appears we first have to sever every thread of the consciousness that supports it. No matter. The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. <sighs> what a hell of a battle. Hmm. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. That mythos is stronger. Wait, what? For five years, that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. I don't know, I don't want to go to bed. Oh, that the death of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Some medicine, my lord. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. Damn, she just wants to help. You must consider your health, my prince. <laughs> if a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing. And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. <sighs> More than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Is he gay or something? Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault. Our 
our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the central Ios, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? the meaning of this my father's orders what were they quickly uh, yes your highness his radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and ah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. Oh. What is it now? Joshua? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching, do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye everybody.